In this video, I'm going to show you the number one resource for going out there and getting graphics, SVGs, fonts for your print on demand designs or digital products. Now, I think Etsy is one of the best places to sell digital products. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can make the process of creating products so much easier and faster and cheaper. First, we're going to go through, I'm going to show you this resource and I'm going to show you how to get these assets for free. If you want more, there is a paid version as well, just to be upfront with you guys. But there's a ton of stuff out there for free that we can use legally and then sell it on digital digital products or print on demand products on Etsy, your Shopify store, whatever it is, wherever you want to sell. So this resource is called Creative Fabrica. And if you follow me, you've probably heard me talking about it before. But what you might not have known is they have a completely free section with tons of valuable resources that you might be able to use when you're creating your next design. I'll leave a link down below to their site. But you can see here when you get to the home page, you can click on view more on this for free section here. And they offer a ton of free stuff. They've got freebies, free fonts, free SVGs, free graphics, free embroidery, and then free classes, which is like tutorials. And you can see here they have over 214,000 freebies so it's not just oh here we've got six or seven different things you can download for free but then you have to pay to access everything else you can access all of this for free no credit card no free trials none of that bs you can just come in here and download these and to show you it works like that i've even opened up in an incognito window here signed out so that you can see that you actually can download these products so you can see here we've got fonts we've got these script fonts which is really good for stuff that i'm going to show you in an example in a second which is one of my favorite digital products ever on Etsy. Whether you're doing print on demand, KDP, whatever it is, they have a ton of resources. But I even use these fonts here when I'm creating websites, for example. I run a lot of blogs and I use the fonts from Creative Fabrica. I download them and you can install them on your website and I can have a nice font on my website to help my brand stand out from others in my niche. Or you can simply go ahead and use these on the designs that you're creating, whether it be a social media post or a product that you sell. I'll just give you a scroll through here and show you some of the stuff that we've got. We've got a wedding font over here, which is, you know, nice script font. We then have down here, this all was a more one, which is a little more funky, right? If you're scrolling through and you're looking for something for a specific design, for example, if you were creating a Valentine's Day design, you might come over here and spot this font and think, that's great. That looks original. Other people aren't going to have that. I'm going to use that font on my design. It'll help it stand out a little bit in the algorithm. Every little edge you can get like that is gonna help you sell more products. If we come over here to the free SVG section, this has like pre-made graphics and stuff like that. Honestly, I wouldn't try and sell these. I don't think this is the place to be on here. I don't think this is the most valuable bit of Creative Fabrica. You can go ahead and try them, but personally, I wouldn't recommend it unless you're doing like some sort of passive uploading method. We are uploading to platforms, you know, automatically using some sort of software. But if you're creating your own designs and you actually wanna have like a nice store that sells original products, stay away from this. I would recommend coming into your graphics section here, your font section, and then combining a graphics and a font to create an original product. In here, we have a ton of different stuff. For example, these like little cute uh, sticker packs here, these actually look really cool and you could potentially sell them. I really like the look of that artwork. So once you see something you like, for example, if you like this and you wanted to use these on t-shirts or mugs, whatever it is, you can actually then come in and scroll down to the designer and see more from that designer. So if you like that style of artwork and you wanna get more of that and you can like create your store around that, you can come down in here and just click on the designer's name or see this more from the designer section. So if I click in here, you can see that they have 1,641 products. I'm probably gonna go into the illustration section and you can see they have a ton of these hand-drawn illustrations right here. This one's like a little cartoon sheep, I believe. Uh, if we scroll on down, they've then got different styles and designs, but they've got like packs that they have in a specific category or in a specific artwork style that you can use. So these pumpkins here are really cool as well. So you could use them on whatever design you like. Now let's head back here and see what else they've got. So there's tons of backgrounds here. That's fairly simple. You can obviously use that on a ton of different things, but we've got this watercolory greenery cards here. Personally, I really like this because the product I'm gonna show you in a second, we can actually use this for, and in this video, I'm gonna create an example using this and using a font from Creative Fabrica so that we can create an original product that we can then sell and upload to Etsy as a digital product. So as you can see, this is a free product here. You can just click download for free, create your account there for free. Again, you don't have to enter a credit card or anything like that, and you're good 
to go. So I'm just going to download it here in my account. So what I'm going to do is now upload this into Canva. So I'm going to take this version of the design right here. I'm going to drag it up into Canva and apply it to a template that is already in Canva. Now, obviously we don't want to be using templates from Canva because lots of people are going to be using them already because there's not very many of them for wedding templates. People are just going to use the default ones. So as we've got Creative Fabrica to go out there and get new assets and original assets, we can kind of pull things together and make our own original version of a design. So what I'm going to do is delete some of the aspects of this design right here and then apply mine onto the background. So I've got this here. Let's drag it up and fill the whole version right here. And then I'm going to send this to the back. So layer, sand backwards and six or seven more times until we got these gold bars right here. So I'm going to widen it out a little bit here to make sure the flowers aren't kind of overpowering everything. And then we've got the names in here. So that's the next thing we're going to change. I'm going to find a script font that I like over in the freebies section of Creative Fabrica. So if we come in here and go to free fonts, I'm going to type in script and we'll be able to search for that. I like this hardy script one right here. So I'm going to go ahead and download it and we can actually upload this then into Canva. So again, I'm just going to upload this zip folder here and save these files. I'm then going to click upload font here on Creative Fabrica and it allows us to upload our own original font. We confirm that we want to go ahead and upload this hardy font right here. And once that's uploaded, we can then change our font on this design. In a second, I'm going to show you the potential of selling something like this because it's kind of crazy. That's uploaded. Let's go in here and click on hardy or search for hardy. Just select that and then our font will change here. So we've got Sasha. Let's make that a little bit bigger. And we've got Richard down here. We also want to change that to this font as well. And we're going to make that one a little bit bigger as well and just place them nicely kind of inside each other here. I'll leave this as is. Obviously, you can adjust that to your own liking. The customer might actually want to provide you with a personal message that probably will to put on that. And then we can add in other stuff here as well. If we wanted to come over to Creative Fabrica, we could search for leafy greens, which sounds like something you might eat. But when we type that in, you can see here, you get these nice kind of decorative assets that we could use. Flower frames, that actually seems to be the word to search for. So let's type in flower frames and see what we get. So you can use all of these borders. You can add in, you know, the different ones. You've got fall ones. You can do different designs. So you could create one single design and then just kind of change the seasons on it to make it look different for different times of the year when people are having weddings at different times of the year, obviously. So there's tons here that you can then go in and download. So once you're done with your design here, you want to save it inside your Canva account because you're going to have to customize it every time you get a customer on Etsy. So let me show you that these actually sell on Etsy because you might be thinking, yeah, but who's going to buy this? Well, 15,000 people have bought this. So if we look here at wedding invitation templates, it's a big niche on Etsy. There's a ton of people selling these and they just do tons of different designs. They sell them for 1072 and it's just a digital print they're not getting any of the actual like paper or the actual designs the person then has to go and get them printed elsewhere but they just download these they look good it's simple imagine you're planning a wedding you're spending tens of thousands of pounds or dollars you just want this at eight ten pounds that's nothing you don't have to pay someone to design a custom one it's actually a very cheap way to do it and it's quick and easy i like that design Let's go for it. So you can see here, these people do it. Willow Lane Paper, they've got 15,000 reviews, which means they've sold a lot more than that. You can see they've done 273,000 sales. Now, I would imagine that they sell more than just wedding templates, but they just do digital products selling these type of templates. Again, this is very similar to the design we just created right here. They've got that flower frame design there with uh, the flowers on the sides in the middle. And they've got a very simple, they've got a couple of different fonts. Fonts, I think are probably the key here. If you can get like a nice font, find a nice one on Creative Fabrica, make a really nice design. It's really easy to make these designs now with all the templates out there. And yeah, you're pretty much good to go. Start uploading these to Etsy. I would recommend having that kind of a branded style store where you're doing similar style designs or patterns and stuff like that. Don't have it sporadic where you've got 40 different styles of product. It just doesn't look as nice when a customer comes into your store and sees that. They want to see something that is kind of aesthetically pleasing and has that same feed to it. Now, think about a good Instagram feed. You know instantly when you go onto someone's Instagram feed and it looks aesthetic and everything is the same style and colors and fonts, it looks so much better and professional, you're more likely to sell. If we just take a look here before we wrap up this video, you can see here 
that that's the way their store looks. Everything looks very similar. They're using the same mockups, the same templates, and it looks good. They got 15,000. That's a crazy niche. Like, it's absolutely insane. I absolutely love this. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to join Creative Fabrica, go ahead and check it out down below. I've got you a link to a free trial in the description. So check it out down there and I'll see you guys in the next one.